Hello, in this video I will take an example to explain mindfulness, focus, awareness. Uh, first, I should say many times is that you will never, uh, you can never change something or get away from something if you are not aware of it. This is why mindfulness is very important because uh, I will give you one example too because mindfulness is experiential so let us say you are eating and then after some minutes uh, you are eating or watching TV or working or doing something you are busy with, a, with an activity so let us take eating you are eating and suddenly you are aware that there is an obsession in your head okay let us say that uh, when you are aware that there is an obsession at, at your head in your head it was nine o'clock you have two possible you have two possibilities or three possibilities what the first the first possibility is that you was aware uh, you were aware of the uh, of the obsession before it is coming This is not the ideal case because this can generate fear which will later make the obsession stronger okay the second case is that you are aware of the obsession at simultaneously when the obsession is coming this is the uh, this is what we want mindfulness to do so it, this is the end goal of mindfulness uh, why we are trying to do mindfulness of course mindfulness mindfulness have, ha, has a lot of benefits but this is one of the benefits so uh, the second case is that you catch the uh, the the ocd the obsession at the time of arising so simultaneously when it enters your head you catch it through mindfulness the third case is that you are eating and at nine o'clock in fact, the uh, obsession, obsession has entered your, your head, but you was unaware of it. You was not mindful of it. So it took some time. You are very busy focusing, struggling, fighting with the thought, with the obsession. And after that, you become aware that you are busy with fighting with the obsession of course this distance between the time that the obsession enters your head and the time when you are aware of the obsession the longer this period the deeper you are in the mud the deeper you are in the content in the story of the obsession the the the, the more difficult you become out of this struggle out of this identification out of this emerge out of this uh, melting with the obsession so mindfulness this is why this is why i say mindfulness if you are focused then you are not mindful if you are aware that you are focusing then you are mindful so if you are focusing on the obsession you are not mindful you are busy with them with the obsession but if you are aware that you are focusing on the obsession that you, then you are mindful okay sometimes you are busy with uh, with something with eating or with working or with watching tv or with some type of activity okay you are let us say you are studying you are walking but at nine o'clock you um, you are aware that you are not focusing on the task you are not focusing on your work this is mindful this is mindfulness also because you are you you were aware that you are not focusing so at the same so mindful mind this is why mindfulness is is above is is a contextual thing is is a is in the context is in the is above is not in the content is outside is observing is observer this is 
why observer observing so so the observer is there is a, a distance this distance this distance is extremely important the more distance between your reality between your identity and the obsession the content of the obsession the more distance the more you are uh, you, the less you will believe it so the more the distance between your real identity and the content of the obsession the less you will believe it the less you will believe the obsession the less the power of the obsession on you so the less you will get identified the less identification less melting less merging okay less struggle less less food to the obsession to the monster so this distance is therapeutic distance i call it a therapeutic distance this distance is extremely important mindfulness is very important to widen this gap to widen this distance between you and the obsession between you i mean your real identity and the obsession okay so we go back to the example you was eating you were eating and at the same time obsession came you have three possibilities uh, okay now you are aware let us say you are aware that you are very busy with the obsession of course with the content with the story of the obsession then you are aware of the obsession you are aware that you are busy with the obsession then you will say to yourself you will relabel it you say this is the OCD this is the obsession then you will say this is not me this is the obsession and you will try to uh, make very big effort to refocus somewhere else some somewhere that grabs your attention a hobby a game or the task at hand of course okay I hope that this uh, ex explanation is in a, is 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 um, enough for you but between time and time I will try also to give some examples because to to make this more uh, concrete okay thank you and take care of yourself